photographs in the book that are images of large quarry projects. As I said earlier, I mean, the Italian culture and history is filled with its mastery of building projects. If you look at the first photograph in the book, this is one of the first photographs I shot in the entire project in 2000. This was on my first, that first trip back to Sicily in um, the spring of 2000. And here you can see these type of unfinished buildings that I was talking about that initially attracted me to this condition or what this was all about. This is, you see thousands and thousands of these kind of, of housing projects. So, I began to ask questions. What are these about? Why aren't they finished? Why do they sit there? And why in the middle of a town or on one edge of the town, you see a whole grouping of these unfinished houses. And then you'll go to the other side of the town, you'll see another grouping of unfinished houses. Why is it that the local government didn't tell the developers, well, no, you have to finish those before you can start these, or we're going to try to build up this area. What I found out is very interesting. If you look at these, what you see here is basically um, the foundational structures with the beginnings of the actual housing. Most of the materials used here is concrete, ore, and terracotta. Now, what I found out was that the developers of these projects actually control the means of production up to a certain point. So, for example, this is actually a mountain made of terracotta. This is scraped away to its form and it was abandoned, I don't even know, probably a hundred years ago. And this has been scraped away for its terracotta. And back here, you can see the factory where terracotta brick is actually made. Now, those bricks will then be transported to a construction site. And they can build the house to this point using these raw materials. For the developer, that's cheap. They own the land where the quarry is. They own the factory and the labor where the bricks are made. They can send their own crews to do the framing of these buildings. It's after this point that it costs more money to make. This is where the expense comes in. Finishing work for construction is always the expense of a project. Now, the other thing is you don't pay taxes on a building in Italy and in many places until it's completed. So the question is, if you're being paid money to bring all of these construction aspects to this point, it may not really pay off to finish it and have to maintain that community once it's done. You would think that would be where the money is but actually not. It's in this area and in the con initial construction stages where there is money because that's when the investment money is given. That's where you get the tax incentives to begin these projects, but not to finish them. And in fact, there are many buildings where you will see people living on the first floors of these. So they'll finish just enough to allow some people to live in portions of the building. But as you move up vertically, it's less and less complete. And often you see rebar sitting up at the very top, sort of waiting for a layer to be built that never will be built. So here you can see this cycle of construction uh, and the continuum on which construction is made. So this is a hill that literally was scratched away, scraped away to quarry the terracotta clay that would make bricks for construction in the south. <laughs> 